Hello everybody, today we are going to be setting this beautiful wig on fire. <laughs> I really hope I don't burn the house down, but I do have a full water bottle with me and we have a spray bottle that I'm gonna be using anyways, so it'll be fine. All the videos I've looked up using fire on your hair, they all say don't try this at home. Didn't really like the fire department. So don't try this at home. First things first, we have to get this wig wet. Next up, we have to completely coat the wig in conditioner or a hair mask, anything super nourishing. So, let's do it. I wanna make sure no strand, no single strand of hair doesn't have this hair mask or conditioner or whatever I'm gonna use. Gotta make sure all the moisture is everywhere so that nothing stays on fire when I set it on fire. <laughs> okay, looks like everything is thoroughly coated in hair mask and everything is still soaking wet. <laughs> So I don't know how this could go wrong. Really, I, I mean, I watched one tutorial and I think I got it. Like, I think I can do this, okay? Just for safety. We're taking sections of hair and we're going to twist it. When you twist it, you'll be able to see the little flyaways on hair that isn't a wig. You'll see some split ends and that is what we're going to just put some fire on. And it's supposed to not only get rid of your split ends, but it's supposed to seal them. That's right, seal them. Like as if you will never have a split end again. Because your ends are being sealed with fire. I mean, I would test this on my own hair, but I'm a little afraid. Here is our strip of hair, and you can see all these flyaways, all right here, all these little flyaways, and those are the strands of hair that are going to be set on fire, hopefully. If not, then everything is just gonna be on fire. I'm really afraid of fire. I was acting really confident, and now I, and now I don't feel it. Okay, so here we go. Fire, and we're... <gasps> Did you just see that? You see all those little black dots? That's just singed hair. Singed hair right there. Let's do it again, let's keep going. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. But there's smoke. There's a literal smoke. How, how is this, how does this look good? Okay, so we have all these, all these black singed ends. Let's see if they're detectable or not. Wow, look at that. These are all the singed ends, these little black pieces. smell good and it doesn't feel very good something you may not know 
but in the wig world a lot of companies cut corners by not exactly using all human hair in their wigs if say this wig was 75% human hair and 25% synthetic that would really ruin this but this company does claim to be 100% human hair so this wig should be reacting to fire just like say my hair would these videos that I saw of people doing this the end result did not look like all these little little hairs were burned at the ends I don't get it I don't understand it I don't I don't get the science behind this okay I'm like I'm working on it I'm trying to myth bust this but I didn't really understand it in the first place so like this hurts me this really hurts me as you can see all the ends look like garbage how this is a real thing that some salons do like I really think it's just for show that's like waiters coming out with a dish that's on fire just to put it out in front of you it's like the magic effect you're like oh my god this is amazing but like does it need to happen no come on now it does not need to happen and as for it what I can't stop thinking about is like how how does setting fire to your split ends seal seal the ends of your hair I'm gonna be thinking about this all day <laughs> all day long but let me know what you all think do you think this actually works or are you like me and say that it's not real okay let me know comment leave some comments down below and if you are new make sure to click the subscribe button so i'll see you in my next video <laughs> thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye she said bye